So, uh, all right, so let's take these uh, assemblies and start to actually apply them to the space. I'm going to start on the first floor and uh, very similar to how we did the floor plan, I'm just going to kind of pick like a corner of the building and start to model that out. And then, um, and then you know, we'll, we'll go from there. Um, so I think an area that probably makes a lot of sense is uh, like kind of this central core. Okay, and I'm, I'm just going to model some parts of it, and I'll model the extents a little bit later. But I want you to see how this soffit element gets modeled, and then how it looks in section relative to our schematic plan. So um, let's jump into that. All right, so I'm on uh, my first floor reflected ceiling plan. I have the walls that I'm interested in, um, and yeah, anyway, I'm just going to go at it. So let's, do, let's first do this... Um, the soffit, okay, because I like to start with like, uh, well, you could start with like the blanket element that just is the main ceiling height and just goes across the whole space if you wanted to. But um, I tend to work with like the architectural elements first, and then I do all the blanket stuff later. So um, this is going to be at eight feet high. So let's grab our ceiling command. Um, and uh, I, I do kind of want to show you something real quick, although I don't know if it's going to allow me to do it. Um, remember, this is a soffit, so it's lower than the structure, so it requires framing, and that means we have to use the gypsum wall board on wood stud. So um, Revit does do this pretty cool thing where it automatically creates your ceiling in an enclosed space, which is pretty awesome. Um, but we don't really have, I mean, our architectural condition is fairly common, so when you hover your mouse around, you're going to see this little warning symbol thing. Don't worry about it. It's just because we have to sketch ours ourselves. But if you really had a space like this, like a little closet or something that was fully enclosed, all you have to do is click, and it'll create that ceiling for you. Now there's a ceiling in that space. Um, well, it might, it might not be fully enclosed or something like that. So, um, okay, guys. So uh, what I want you to do real quick is just you follow, basically follow the plan, and we're going to draw one of the soffits. So... Um, back to ceiling, and uh, we're going to sketch it in. Remember, everything, pretty much everything in Revit is profile-based. So I'm going to bring this thing out about two feet. And remember, I, I tend to like to use dimensions and stuff to, to size things properly. So rather than like pulling my mouse down here and saying, oh, I'd prefer 14 feet, it's usually not that nice of a number. Like Usually it'll be like 15 feet, 10 and one quarter inch. And you're like, ah, I could retype something two foot shorter than that. Or I could just click here and figure it out later. So that's what I like to do. Um, so this is going to go all the way up to here, if I recall correctly. And you can leave your sketch going and switch to your PDF. Yeah, it's going to go up there. And it's going to kind of wrap around here. And I'm going to stop it out here somewhere and finish it up later. Um, so you can just carry this all the way around. And this is going to go two feet out here. And this, I haven't figured out exactly where it's going to go, but there's something like this in there. And then it comes back. Okay, so as I mentioned, right, I get kind of messy with my initial profile, and then I just kind of sweep through and clean it up. So I'll drop some dimensions in, anything that's going to be critical. Um, something like this, that, that. Um, this one I'm fairly sure was two feet. Yeah, that's good. Um, I'll do something like this. Uh, okay, that should be enough for now. Um, I do want to make sure that my my uh, that the back side of my soffit is actually on the wall, so I'm going to just align that to the wall just to make sure. Yeah, that one's good. That one's not good. I do believe uh, this one is aligned to that face or that surface, so I'm going to pull that over. And then I want to look into the alignment of this thing and where exactly that goes. So um, looks like it goes uh, two, three feet up and then across, and that's a four foot, four foot wide thing. So um, this is going to start here, and it's going to go three feet up, and this is going to be four feet. Okay, I'll finish up the left side of that later, all right? So anyway, you hit um, check, and that, oh, no, I forgot something, sorry. Inside of that, remember, these dimensions stay. So when you go back into the profile, you can use this to modify it later and to verify. So I'm going to make sure this is two feet, and uh, that one doesn't need to be, 
Actually, now that I'm thinking of it, if that's one foot five, ah, uh, I see. That's where it hits the two feet. Okay. So this actually, we need to kind of trim out this corner here, and we'll leave that where it is. Okay. Um, one thing that I, I want to point out to all of you real quick is uh, this particular surface, at least for me, doesn't have any surface pattern on it. When it comes to soffits, I like it to have a hatch pattern, particularly soffits. Um, so what I'm going to do is, uh, uh, sorry, I'm going to um, go to edit type. I'm going to edit the gypsum wall board material. And um, here's what I'm going to do differently than the plans, okay? Because this is a schematic set. It's meant to visually represent the space and the quality of the space. So to me, the way this plan is drawn doesn't represent the quality of any space at all because there's too much going on. The, the um, diagonal hatch pattern doesn't really tell me what it is. So I'm going to use a, like a um, gypsum board hatch. It's like a sandy hatch. Um, and I'm also going to use another one for the higher ceiling, but the higher ceiling I'm going to make a lighter gray. So that means I need two separate materials. I need a gypsum wallboard soffit and a gypsum wallboard ceiling. So I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to call this one gypsum wallboard soffit. And I'll duplicate it again. I'm going to call this one gypsum wallboard ceiling. What's that? Lost you? Yeah. Okay. I'll pause for a moment. Okay, so we've got uh, gypsum wallboard soffit. I'm going to edit this so that it has a surface pattern. Um, see this gypsum plaster, right? It's like a sandy look sort of thing. It's not the same as sand. There is a sand pattern. Uh, it's a little denser. It has like a line, a small, tiny little line rather than a dot. Um, but we're going to leave soffit as black. And we're going to create the higher ceiling, the gypsum wallboard ceiling, to be a lighter gray. So um, surface pattern here is also going to be gypsum plaster, but change the color to that, light gray. Oh, uh, sorry, I left, it, I left it on ceiling, not soffit. OK, that's very important. Switch it over to soffit and hit OK. So now um, that thing looks like this, which is a much more sort of illustrative material. And uh, I want to just quickly show you the, the kind of blanket material that we're going to put in the rest of the space. And that's going to be the other ceiling. So I'm going to say CS, and I'm going to say uh, gypsum wallboard on metal stud. Or sorry, not that one, uh, GWB for gypsum wallboard. This is the one that's going to be our higher level ceiling. And uh, I'm just going to sketch in a quick ceiling that follows the profile of my soffit where there is a soffit, but then follows the profile of the wall where there is a wall. Okay, and you, um, what's that? Oh, I was wondering why you broke it. The, broke what? The, the, last, the last ceiling you did. Oh, over here? Yeah. I, I just stopped because I'm getting lazy and I want to be expeditious for you guys. Okay. Yeah, but I, I will finish that. I'll go back in and edit it later. I just want you to focus kind of on this little knuckle right here. OK, um, so when I hit check, right, it, it still shows blank because I haven't changed the material. So let me fix that material real quick. Gypsum wallboard ceiling, hit OK. There. So now what we've got is um, gypsum board ceiling around the soffit. And then we have our, our area that's popped up higher in the middle. Does that visually look to you like one is higher than the other? So I would consider that a success. So that's our, that's our method for showing soffit and ceiling. Um, and then, yeah, so I'll, I'll kind of walk you guys through um, offline. I'm not going to record everything that I do on the um, RCP, but um, follow along with the alignments that you see in the reflected ceiling plan and the drawing set that you have. And then outside of that, you know, we'll kind of just clarify things along the way. Okay. So let's spend a little bit of time doing this because we're going to need we're going to need these ceiling elements as our canvas for, um, for doing like lights and stuff like that. Okay. Also, um, don't do the sloped part of the, on the second ceiling yet. We'll take care of that together. Thank you, Kevin. You're